and welcome our respected uh, respected chief guest of the session dr uh, assisi menanjiri sir who presently serving as vice president of excellence learning and development at qmpg industrial certifications and services sir is a professor and dean in the area of organizational psychology philosophy and ethics the trained at the harvard graduate school of education and alumni of iif ahmedabad sir got phd in the area of emotional intelligence and managerial effectiveness we are really grateful to dr assisi menanjiri sir for hello yes, am i audible sir. Yes, please. Sir. Yes, yes, very clear, very clear. Am I audible? Do you hear me? Yes, yes, very clear. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Sir. Yeah. So, uh, first, let me thank the uh, general professor, uh, Doctor Govindan Sir, and uh, Major uh, Joseph uh, Sir for giving an opportunity to all the bright, vibrant uh, future youngsters for going to, you know, take. Uh, our nation to greater heights so i could see the enthusiasm the energy and i take the opportunity to congratulate ajul r krishnan for clearing the you know he is sitting uh, in a train and he is traveling so congrats uh, ajul and as rightly gogadan sir mentioned you need to you know fly a fighter flight fighter flight right so congratulations look, look carefully once you again and, uh, you won't be able to see his hair later on <laughs> yeah 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 so uh, so again uh, let me also take the opportunity to to wish you a very happy 75th independence day of the nation and uh, may god bless us all so uh, may i start now how i relate relate myself to sarv the nation i'll also connect myself to this so that you will get a real time life experience uh, see uh, i was born as a soldier's son my father retired as a junior commissioned officer from army army he was an accountant well i came out of my mother's womb 3 months earlier 7th month when my father was returning home for a one month leave in fact uh, my mother did a laborious work uh, can any one of you imagine what was that work now my father like matta rice you know you have heard about kutari right so the moment my mother knew the news that my father was coming my mother want to feed him with a matta rice and she pro start processing the raw paddy after drying it in sunlight you know older days we call it as nellu kutuga in an orel you know so she did that process and she was seven month she was carrying me uh, and and it was seventh month and within that process i came out early 2.5 months earlier than expected so uh, after told my parents he is unlikely to survive prepare for the worst and be ready to accept the worst perhaps uh, the self in me fought like a warrior for 6 months and came out of the ventilator now i am sitting in front of you after 47 years i fought for 6 months uh, in the ventilator and this is a real life story now you can see my father this is me child i am trying to relate connect myself with you okay well i had several physical challenges of a immature baby perhaps uh, 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 i mean a uh, major gogan sir may be really aware of that because uh, he is a pediatrician had severe asthma till degree second year had stammering under stressful situation and right from childhood studied staying at my mother's house it was a six member joint family with a grandfather and grandmother my mother was at my father's house i was staying and studying in my mother's house my father was working in indian army well this is how i relate to myself to this well uh, this went along till fifth standard during fifth standard my mom went with my father along with my little sister i was again alone like in ventilator from my parents i used to travel and stay in three houses my father's house my mother's house and again my maternal aunt's house with my first cousin my father retired at the age of 48 and we commenced our essay family when i was 18 years of age the real time story okay so this is how i went through my life my experiences made me tougher i was i was almost underweight the shorter in the class the leaner in the class i had stammering issues i had attention deficit disorders i had impulsive impulsivity challenges my nickname was skeleton malayalathil or asti kudam my nickname was skeleton and this is me you can see sitting here on the lower on the on the floor you know tarayla yen irikkena kada this is me you can see my this is me the shorter the leaner who will sit in the 
in the ground could you see that this is me ha huh? okay fine this is me uh, the leaner guy when i was uh, doing my third standard and but god gave me something very interesting god gave me a great gift i should say it was innocence look at my innocence smile i should say god gave me a great gift it was an innocent smile on my face always okay now how i related myself to saru the nation i'm continuing that managed to get a first class in 10th managed to get to get a second class for 12th then came my degree the transformation period had issues with father because he was an alien for me went out of house three times i was not delivering to his expectation and i was a useless guy how i relate myself to sarvodha nation i'm telling my own experience i don't know how far you will be able to connect with me fine well i was again suffering from asthma suffering from stammering the leanest the shortest but i was a fighter and decided to fight i was a fighter and decided to fight how i relate myself to sarvodha nation i joined for a method of raj yoga called sahaj marg and mindfulness practice initiated under a guru called mani he taught me to dissolve past traumas in the light of consciousness i became a vegetarian till my marriage as disappeared stammering is almost under will i could control it i could manage it yes i started gaining confidence then i never ever looked back yes my father being a soldier made me a fighter that was a positive thing my father being a soldier made me a fighter still that fighting spirit continues in life here today and this is how i relate myself uh, myself you know to serving the nation because my father served and i was related to that and this is my relationship this is a real time experience i went through as a child till my 18 18 years of age and i started living with my father at the age of 18 and what is your learning because you are all going to be soldiers you are all going to serve the nation how you are going to connect this experience to yours and make correct judgments in your work life balance in your managing your family you know uplifting your children how you are going to learn this how you are going to take it as a learning uh, so if you have any questions you may ask i will reply to you i want interaction at this point of time please unmute your mic and at least i expect three questions now sir with all this yeah sir yeah carry on carry on sorry prabha let's break the ice yeah sir with all this difficulties in childhood you managed to be a fighter and uh, became a success in life i don't know whether i am successful in life uh, process success is a process there is no end to it in end to it end to it but i am living at the age of 47 that is i exist that's all god blessing you know he is being he is being very modest so me yeah please swati uh, yes sir so with all these difficulties there might have come a time where you have would have but that i want to stop what kept you going on what made you think that i do not want to stop i don't know cause at times some thought process originate within us we don't know how it happens that's why it's blessing at one point of time we get right gurus we get right mentors you know uh, so mani sir was a great mentor to me who taught me sahaj yoga the method of raj yoga so he helped at one point of time and many of the other mentors helped me in my whole life even now a mentor is helping me my research professor dr r vengadapati it's not blessing so that if you could get get if you could get right mentors good people you know genuine people that is the greatest blessing that god will be able to give you yes. any other questions good evening sir yeah sir you told that the, that the struggles you faced in the life uh made you a fighter so how did you uh, convert your negative uh, aspect of uh, the struggles into the the aspect that made you move on the positivity how did you make it into a positivity of yours at that particular point of time i was not conscious about it i it just went went along like that uh, that is why i called one is blessing and right mentors i got and there were a, there were a lot of good uh, people to support me to encourage me to uplift me to strengthen my cognition the way i think and whenever i go deep down with a, with a lot of hard emotions there were people to take care of me so i luckily i was with good people a lot of good people were with me to understand me to accept me uh, to 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 empathize from my viewpoint to strengthen me so that is one point uh, that helped me and there is, there was something deep within that i would have learned unconsciously staying alone in a ventilator for 6 months a fighting spirit that comes that's a learned behavior basically you know majority of the behaviors that we learn is 
learn behavior so this i would have learned unconsciously and uh, my true self within me wanted to come out uh, maybe uh, it wanted to go through a lot of struggles in life and to come to to ma make myself tough and mature maybe that may be the reason so maybe after some time i realized many things when i started learning and doing my phd doing research especially in uh, psychological many multiple psychological areas then i could relate everything some thought process someone guided me a blessing uh, then then what we say uh, our parents are praying for us your parents are praying for us the whole everything is for you uh, the moment you are ready to fight uh, you will come up you can come up you, if when the whole the whole world will support you world and the, the, the life energy itself will support you this is what i do believe uh, well any any other questions good evening sir yeah So you say that you are a fighter in your childhood. Is now you are a fighter or a warrior? Ah, uh, see, <laughs> warrior. Okay, that's a great question. Whether I am a fighter or a many a times I am a fighter even now because I go away from my awareness or consciousness and I fight. Oh, uh, but the the ratio of being a fighter and a warrior it is slow. Every day it is improving. The moment we enhance our awareness or consciousness. we start becoming values the moment you start doing anything with conscious awareness you become a value you are a value you are conscious about you whatever you are doing then you are a value if you are not conscious you are a fighter this is a differentiation that i make so that is the answer to your question It means uh, that you want to say that we have to start with being a fighter which uh, in future lets us to become a warrior being a fighter and a being a value uh, the only the major difference is fighter is not conscious and aware why he is fighting a warrior is very much conscious and aware why he is fighting that's a difference awareness makes a shift so lord Ar you know about arjuna right arjuna was not a warrior in fact he was a fighter but with bhagavad gita krishna turned arjuna to a warrior where he became conscious about his thing what's the purpose of uh, the fight to establish establish then he fight it consciously so that's a transformation it is awareness and conscious make you a warrior So Arjuna is the ultimate example. We are all going through every day, going through the same phase Arjuna has gone through. That's the beauty of Mahabharata. Any other question? Yeah, we will learn one by one. So I thought of having a five minutes discussion. We all uh, learn something from my experience. It was not to project my uh, fighting spirit, but it was a learning experience. But what I would suggest is to you, if you become, uh, you know, uh, if you work for your country, uh, see. take care of your children also along with you take your wife also along live as a family so that your children won't suffer this is one point second you know you should support your uh, your uh, children to come up uh, in in their life not in giving directions only be with them and support so that is one second thing that i would uh, prefer to give you but there is always another side to it you know we may be considering that there is something good or something bad happening but when something bad happens automatically on the other side good also happens this is the concept of uh, you know uh, duality and non duality the moment something bad happens automatically the good things also happens on the other side so see a lot of bad things has happened in my life childhood days but today you know what that has contributed me in making a whole person you know and i am i know i am very strong now i am i am not worried to die at any point of time i am detached from my survival needs so see when a child stays in a ventilator unconsciously waiting for his death for 6 months and uh, he is constantly learning something right so uh, i learned to detach many things at a very younger younger uh, you know ages of my life so uh, survival need the fear has gone you know it has gone from me maybe now i only consider about my 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 own children i am possessive little bit about my children and my family that's all personally i have i have reached i mean i am not claiming something Uh, i am i am not fearful so that is one thing good part has happened and i can face anything i am confident with uh, due all respect to you know the 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 wish of god well i will i can so this is what uh, uh, the learning part of it when bad things you know happen, you know doctor doctor uh, cc you know i am very happy today after after uh, going through you know learning what you have gone through in your childhood because because i feel it it is providence uh, which brought you amongst us and so that we could uh, hear you. you you have actually proven what i have told them in my message one thing is that you are a real fighter who shaped your own destiny in a very very positive way despite all difficulties why why because you were endowed with the finest quality that is innocence innocence is an embodiment of whatever one would like to have in a human being the love for others you know no don't causing any pain to others then sharing everything with others so that quality and your hard work probably probably 
is the main reason for your uh, coming up in life A and you are actually a, a great example for uh, you know these people to learn the these candidates to learn so i am i am very very happy today you know i didn't know about your uh, your childhood but once i came to know about it and again you are doubly strong because you know as a pediatrician i can tell you whenever we see a preteen baby a very very preemie then if it's a girl we feel very happy because they they are capable of coming through this much better than the boys but being a male child coming through all these you know problems of ventilation and other thing it, it is really is fantastic it's fantastic so so you have these students have a lot to learn from you and it's very good thing that you know we could get thank you today god, thank god sir thank you so much